Now, you made quite a big statement outside. I mean, you kind of went back and forth about it. That doesn't so sound you, like me. Yeah, you kind of said that you would prefer to have Bruno Fernandes over, at, both at, in their absolute best, by the way. No, You're no, twisting no, words no, no, here. No, I'm not. You're twisting no, no, words. No, I'm not. You said at their very best. No, I didn't. I Bru said on current form, no, no. was okay, what I said. Okay. Even if you want current form, you'd take Bruno Fernandes over Kevin De Bruyne. On current form, I would not swap Bruno Fernandes for Kevin De Bruyne. And it, it's not just about what they do on the pitch, his goals, his assists. He is a leader. He is a talisman, um, the like of which, barring Zlatan Ibrahimovic for 18 months, United haven't had that kind of impact, I don't think, since they signed Eric Cantona. OK, so then if they're both in, at their absolute maximum, you're still taking Fernandes over De Bruyne. Kevin I, De Bruyne. I think his leadership no, no, and his, no, no, and his no, no. character Listen. gives him the edge. Listen, stop going around. At, on the pitch, both at their maximum, who will you take? You've got one spot, centre midfield, De Bruyne or Fernandes? I'd stick with Fernandes. Oh, my goodness. For those leadership me. skills. Ambrose, what are you going for? De Bruyne. Hands down. Yep. I think he's he's a better player. Bruno Fernandes has changed Man United, of course. He, in, in in the way that Cantona did. That's why I make the comparison. In a, a well, in a positive way. But De Bruyne, who who, let's face it, he's not having the greatest season. Still, one of his better seasons. He's still phenomenal. Phenomenal. Well, listen, United fans, City fans. <laughs> I mean, Alex Crook, he, he's the one who started all this. At the absolute maximum, who would you rather take, Bruno Fernandes? Or Kevin De Bruyne. 08717 or text 81089. Or you can tweet us at Talksport.